A 70-year-old male presented to the medical emergency with complaints of facial puffiness and shortness of breath. Hello friends, in today's video we are going to talk about superior vena cava syndrome. Superior vena cava syndrome results from any condition that leads to obstruction of the blood flow through the superior vena cava. It impairs adequate drainage from the head and upper extremities. On the basis of onset of symptoms, it is divided into three stages – acute, subacute, and chronic. In the acute stage, onset of symptoms is 14 days or less. In the subacute, the onset is between 14 to 28 days, while in the chronic stage, the onset of symptom is usually greater than 28 days. What are the clinical features? Patients with a sudden onset venous obstruction are more likely to be symptomatic. For those with obstruction that occurs over a prolonged period of time, the presentation is more variable. Edema that mainly involves upper extremities, neck, chest and face and pain are the hallmark symptoms and are present in at least 50% of these patients. The patient frequently complains of facial swelling or head fullness which may be worsened by bending forward or lying down. Distension of the veins in the neck and on the chest wall may be seen. As the main outflow vessels become obstructed, the venous system may remodel to enhance the drainage through alternative pathways if the enough time is permitted and hence the collateral venous pattern is usually from above downwards. Severe manifestations of venous outflow obstruction can reduce perfusion pressure and in severe cases it can even lead to ischemia and venous gangrene and sometimes limb loss and even death. The respiratory symptoms can also be related to edema from the SVC syndrome which can narrow the lumen of nasopharynx and larynx causing dyspnea, strider, cough, hoarseness and even dysphagia. Abnormal chest radiograph with the widened mediastinum and pleural effusion are the most common findings. Here is the mediastinal window of the CECT thorax of our patient which reveals an irregular speculated hypotense lesion in the prevascular space abutting the medial margins of the right lung and causing compression of the superior vena cava and ranging in size approximately 44 into 38 into 41 millimeters. The important causes of superior vena cava syndrome are malignancies like small cell bronchogenic carcinoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, central venous devices, venous thoracic outlet syndromes, arteriovenous hemodialysis axis and fibrosing mediastinitis.